Hey guys and welcome to PJ's Coin Capers. So it's been a long while coming but we've actually made it to uh, episode number 50 of Look What I Found and uh, also number 50 between the time of uh, 49 and 50 has also been a long time because I just haven't had the time to uh, get through as many coins as what I'd like to but uh, look this is what I've been able to come up over the past sort of month or so. I would estimate uh, to probably get what I've found today uh, I've probably gone through maybe about four thousand dollars worth of coins that would be my guess um, maybe a little bit higher depending on the number of two dollar coins I did but I really didn't do heaps of two dollar coins but uh, I tended to focus more on the one dollar coins so obviously where I'm in Victoria and uh, I really don't feel that that many uh, new coins are, are making their way into circulation down here uh, with the lockdowns that we're uh, currently experiencing uh, but hopefully that'll change soon and uh, I'll be able to pick up some new coins hopefully things are starting and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why in a moment all right so let's have a look at what I've actually found and um, these are these are sort of like they're not all high value some of them are just nice coins some of them are ones that I like to make sets with and uh, some of them are just ones that, you know, just, well, you know, just because I like them. All right, so let's, um, let's have a look and see what I found. So I usually start these videos off with what I find uh, from the 50 cent range of coins. And this, this month has been fairly good as far as what I've found from the, well, these ones here, the uh, Federation coins from 2001. So I found a good variety of them. So... I've found, uh, this is the Australian Capital Territory one. I like to keep all these and I actually sell them as sets. And uh, I have sold a few sets recently on eBay. So here is a New South Wales version. So they tend to be in fairly good nick. Uh, and the last one I'll show you is in the best one, is the best one for the, uh, for the time that they've been in circulation. So 2001, these coins. So... Realistic value, individual, probably three to five dollars, depending on, depending on condition. So, I always like to pull these ones out. Uh, what was that one? That was Victoria. So no double ups this week. So this is the Tasmanian version. All right, and this is the nicest one out of the bunch. And that's a Western Australian one, and certainly the best best condition that one. So, yeah, as I said, three to five dollars. So they're they're certainly worth pulling out and putting aside. And if you can build them into sets, uh, certainly they will sell. I try to sell them with the full uh, full twenty cent set as well as as well as the full fifty cent set all in one batch. So this is the only 20 cent coin of real note from this week and uh, it's not even that great. It's the Canberra version of the 2001 Federation coins. A bit grubby on this side so it's not one that I would I would ever sell to be honest. And I might actually just put this one straight back into circulation. Canberra for me is a little bit hard to find as well so it's a bit sad that it looks nice on one side but uh, very dull and uh, dirty on the other. But... Uh, yeah, I think I'll put that one back into circulation. Uh, 10 cent coins, really not much success at all. So I just pulled out this 2018 being the third lowest mintage at the moment. And uh, this month is an exciting month. We're very close to the, to the uh, annual report coming out from the mint that'll tell us exactly what the numbers are on the 2019 coins, the full year 2019 coins. So... It will be interesting. So I'd like to just tell you and show you what I am finding from a 2019 perspective. And, oh, really, I do find a lot of other 2019 coins, but uh, the ones that I'm finding, we have pretty much decided are going to be a high mintage or we already know that they're a high mintage. So I've just kept aside the three JC $2 coins that I found. And I think I've got one, two, three four of the $1 2019 JC coins. And they're just the standard mob of ruse, okay? So, what else did I get here? Oh, yes, a couple of uh, 
2019 JC 20, uh, 10 cent coins and the IRB I find truckloads so I don't bother keeping those and that's the same for the uh, the 20 cent version as well uh, just one of the 2019 5 cent coins the JC version and once again I find plenty like more than any other coin I find of the IRB coin so that's why I've only kept that one so I went to Woolworths uh, this week and uh, I spent uh, some cash at their uh, at their uh, auto checkouts and uh, some brand new 20, 20, 20 cent coins came through. So this is why I'm hopeful that some coins are starting to turn up here in Victoria. So uh, yeah, that was that was great to find. I know many of you are finding these and have certainly found them in rolls and uh, one of my viewers very kindly sent me some rolls of those as well uh, so thank you very much for that uh, out popped a 2020 five cent coin at the same time all right so that's the first of any of these coins that i've actually well yeah i found them they popped out so the dollar coins found plenty of those this week the first few here are just high high grade reasonable mintage coins that I like to pull out and try and make sets of so even though they're circulated they can be very nice high grade condition without any too many bumps and scratches and you can potentially make some nice sets with those higher grade coins uh, there's another one there this is a year 2000 most of the time you don't find many year 2000 uh, dollar coins in any good condition they seem to be fairly uh, weakly stamped or the pressure wasn't very high on the on the um, on the uh, minting when these guys were made so they tend to be uh, washed out fairly quickly as far as the details go so to find one like that is quite nice as well this one's okay but it's a 2014 come on focus there we are 2014 mob of ruse so the second lowest uh circulating one dollar coin with a mintage of literally just over a million so these guys i tend to keep especially if they're in uh, fairly nice condition i'll keep those this is certainly my find of the week and i didn't have to look hard for this one this one was actually on an ender so when the rolls popped out of the machine and uh, I go to the bank and grab the rolls uh, from the coin roll dispensing. This was uh, this popped out, so I was really happy to see that one. And it's a nice high grade coin. So this is the lowest minted one dollar coin in circulation currently. Okay, and this is the 2016 changeover coin. So the changeover series is quite special to many of us collectors sorry about the uh, focusing there guys so this coin here even in this kind of grade is is worth twenty dollars uh, I've seen them even selling like this for around twenty five dollars so being the lowest minted coin it's a special one I, I think prices have come back a little bit uh, certainly through the COVID period and uh, probably probably has a bit to do with the fact that uh, the Mint uh, pushed rolls to security companies, uh, $2 coin rolls and those kind of things. I'm, I'm sure we're all familiar with that. Uh, and I'm, that has de definitely impacted the $2 coin market, which is a bit disappointing, really. Uh, but it means that uh, more coins have been able to get into collectors' hands. So that's, that's a good thing as well. So, all right. So here we have the lowest minted $0.05 cent coin. I managed to find four of them which I was quite happy with. I'm struggling with my eyes, guys. They are, I'm getting older, I'm feeling it in my eyes. And uh, as I'm going through the five cent coins, I just cannot be bothered looking at the dates. So I tend to just put a roll down and just look at what, if any of these turn up at the moment. Um, I do have a look at some of the, the older dull ones that have the, uh, uh, to see if there's any 1972s because that's the other one you want that's also a low mintage and can be uh, worth a few dollars each. 
These ones here are certainly climbing up in value. Uh, a mintage of, I think it was, oh, but in the fours anyway, four million something like that. But that's that's certainly low uh, for a five cent coin. Uh, found five or six of the A to Z 2019 coin hunts, and uh, if you're not aware, there will be a 2020 coin hunt uh, apparently coming about very soon. I uh, did keep a few of the 100 years of Anzac coins. The 2015s are the lowest ones. Then we have the 2016, which is... I don't think it's the lowest. It, it'll be sort of... It's it's fairly close between the 2016 and 2017. And then there's the 2018 version as well. But the 2015 is the lowest one. The 2014, unless it's in really high grade, uh, it's a high mintage of around 24 million. So uh, potentially only worth keeping if you want to make a set... So, what have we got here? Uh, oh yes, we've got a rabbit ear. So this is a 2016 rabbit ear. I do have a little pointer here, if you're unfamiliar with rabbit ears. And that is a cud. So it can happen anywhere, but uh, predominantly a rabbit ear. Cud is behind one of the kangaroo's ears and makes it look like it's got longer ears, like a rabbit. And this is a particularly big, big cud. On the 2016, you can find lots of different cuds in lots of different positions uh, on on many of the kangaroos with multiple rabbit ears. So there's lots to find on the 2016 coins. And uh, yeah, this was one worth pulling out of circulation and certainly well worth collecting if you like to try and get as many different uh, rabbit ears uh, from all the different mob of roos over the years. So definitely from uh, 1984, Onwards, there have been rabbit ears on dollar coins. And look, they're worth a few dollars each, depending on the grade and who wants to buy them. But they are fairly easy to find as far as error coins go. So the only other error coin I found this week, or this month really, is a rim cud. And you can see that there at the bottom. If I hold it in different light, maybe if I put my hand behind it, you see a raised area right on the rim here. So that's a rim cud where the uh, the die has broken away and uh, the uh, metal has been pushed up into that into that place, which is the same same as a uh, a cud like the rabbit ear cud that's chipping away of the die. And uh, this here is a uh, Centenary Federation one dollar coin. And uh, make sure you check these guys each and every time you get one of these. Make sure you rotate it because sometimes you'll find them in in any of these positions. Fully upside down, the whole way around, you can make a clock out of them. So make sure you rotate each one of those if, uh, if, you're, uh, if you're going through $1 coins. Now, literally just a few $2 coins, but still a good variety. For me, most of these ones are, are fairly fairly common the only one that's a little bit more difficult to get it's not a colored one but it is the olympic um sorry the invictus games from when was that 2018 so these guys don't come across my my desk very often but uh yeah the colored ones certainly getting more and more difficult to find so i've got a wallaby one I've got a possum magic one right there and we also got Hey, Mr. Squiggle Coin. All right, and that's uh, that's Gus. So they're the coloured ones that I found this week. Um, I can't wait to find my first donation dollar coin, and uh, they're the coins that I haven't been able to find as yet, and I really look forward to being able to find one of those. And uh, when I do, you guys will know about it. But uh, I'm I'm sure many of you are finding them uh, throughout Australia because they are going to be a higher mintage. Um, but we'll we'll see in time all right guys that is it for this video i hope you've enjoyed my uh my look at what i found episode number 50 of look what i found if you've enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please make sure you do so thanks for watching guys and bye for now